everybody. Thanks for watching Access Hockey MI. I'm going over to our website if you haven't yet. This week we're going to highlight USHL Muskegon Lumberjacks forward Igor Afanasyev. He is one of two returning Russians to the lineup and one of three Russians on the team. So if you're curious about how he's going to mesh with the other members of the team, um, you can keep watching this video to see some of his thoughts personally on it. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting uh, news on them and also our other teams. Bye. All right, Igor. So we are actually just talking a few moments ago about how the team has added a couple more Russians to the yeah. team. Um, how is that going to change the dynamic, how you personally play and how you think the team is going to play as a unit? Uh, you know, I think, as you know, in Russia, there's a different style of hockey, mm -hmm. more like passing. Uh, coaches put in more effort on uh, teaching players how to pass puck and uh, more like if I think if coach will put us together, maybe we'll make... Uh, more like dynamic power play, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Gushin, Daniel Gushin, great forward, and Alex Yakovenko is a defenseman, strong defenseman, so I think we can put a lot of work together and uh, have a great season. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel like your style is distinct in regards, like, compared to the other guys, the other Russians, or are you guys uh, all pretty much on the same I mean, level? This is my going to be my third year in the United States, so okay. I kind of changed it a little bit, mm -hmm. so I think I'm power forward right now. I'm kind of like coaches telling me to shoot more puck and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I'm trying to play aggressive. Mm -hmm. Was it a hard adjustment for you playing on U.S. ice as opposed to European? Um, no, I wouldn't say that way. I just first time it was a, it was a language, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just hard to understand my teammates, but otherwise it was pretty much the same. Are you going to be kind of acting like a spokesperson to the others this year since uh, you're yeah, <laughs> a yeah, little yeah, bit for more sure. familiar? Yeah, I'll try, yeah, but we'll see. Do you think that... Under Coach Hamilton and with a few more countrymen, you know, on the team where you're a little bit more relatable, you've got more guys that you can connect with on a little bit different level. Yeah. Do you think the culture as the team as a whole is going to be very different this year? It's not going to be very different because we have a lot of returners, but like uh, Coach Mike Hamilton, he's we have high tempo practices mm -hmm. and he knows when to have fun, when to stop and be serious. Mm -hmm. So I think we can put up pretty pretty good group of guys mm -hmm. have a good season what are you personally working on to make sure that this is a, a just a storybook season for you to improve on last year yeah you know I just got to be confident and uh, I guess be at the rink like mm -hmm. it's like as many times as possible to work on my shot be aggressive on the ice mm -hmm. and help help all the guys to keep up a good group. Mm -hmm. Just kind of being a, a being a leader yeah, in your own yeah. game. Exactly. Now, going forward as this regular season gets moving, what kind of playoff team do you think you have? Do you think you guys got a, a good, solid group to make a good playoff push, or is there a little bit of work to be done there? You know, I think, uh, as I said, Mike Hamilton, coach, uh, I think he's a winner, and he just, like, he just wants for us the best. Mm -hmm. So we have... We have a great group of the guys, and we're just going to go all in. So Absolutely. Yeah.